everybody, welcome back to The Hunt. I'm Trish and really excited to introduce my next guest to you. This is such an amazing topic. His name is Sonny Jane and he is the founder and CEO of Sun Genomics and we are going to dive into what exactly that means and how to pronounce it correctly. Um, so Sonny, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks so much for having me, Trish. Yeah, no, my pleasure. So did I say it right? Sun Genomics? Sun Genomics. Okay, yep, you perfect. got it. All right, so this is all about probiotic, probiotic health, gut health, right? Yep, keeping those microbes that are living inside of us healthy keeps us healthy. Okay, so let's start there just so the audience can can understand what we're going to talk about here for a minute, but and then we'll get into some other things. But why is that so important? Why is gut health so important? Well, up until the last 20 years, we all kind of viewed our own health yeah. as just our own cells. Okay, if we keep our yeah. cells healthy, then we're keeping our physiology healthy, yeah. and that's all we need to do. But now research has shown that we are not alone. <laughs> we uh, actually are symbiont organisms, meaning that we have another organism that is dependent upon us and we're dependent upon them. And these organisms are the microbes that are living on and inside of our body there. And, and that's scary, I think, for some people, but I remember like as a kid, you know, hearing that almost like, you know, oh, there's, there's stuff on your skin or, you know, things in your gut. And it's like, when you think about it, in that context, you're like, ew. But if you really dive into it, it's such a good thing. Absolutely, right? it's more cells yeah. that can generate something beneficial to you. Right. And that, that's the term probiotic, uh, an organism that generates some benefit to you, you as the human host. And if we can understand these cells in detail and, and unearth some of the science that's being published in the literature, right. uh, we can actually empower our own bodies to perform better than they are today. And Which I think all of us are trying to accomplish, you know, at the end of the day is how do I feel better and be better? Exactly. Right? I mean, we all have those days that we're a little bit off or not getting enough yeah. sleep or feeling bloated or discomfort. Um, even gut brain access and mood are now associated with one another. 90% uh, of the serotonin is nice. actually produced in the intestinal tract through the gut enteric nervous system. That is fascinating, actually. So you, so you, let's just back up for a second. So you were in corporate America, I would say, right? Yeah, I used to work for Illumina and LabCorp and um, some of these larger corporations before starting um, Sun Genomics. Before you came a, a, a data, how did you say it? Dadpreneur, yeah, dad, dad, dad and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. <laughs> so let, let's, let's talk to everyone about yeah. um, why you created um, your company. Yeah, it was 2016, and my son was having gut health issues. Um, so he wasn't much older than about six months when we started to observe um, noticeable pain and um, issues with the, the GI system. Okay. Yeah, just real issues with the GI system. Oh. And you can see it in yeah. babies, babies poop, you know, it's Yo, pretty yeah, obvious. Yeah. yeah, I've got three myself, and it's funny how you just, you know, you just remember those things. Yeah. yeah they're, mine are much older now. But. And, and the first thing you do is you, you call the doctor and, you, yeah. and you, you say, Doc, look at this, like something's happening here. Absolutely. And, you know, gut health for infants is a relatively new field of research and understanding and maybe not something taught in medical schools. Hmm. And we're, we're trying to convey the symptoms that our child is having to the doctor and it kind of falls under these categories of colicky or discomfort. Right. But we as parents saw that there was something different about this situation and we wanted to do something too young for therapeutics and drugs. Right. You, know, you don't want to give an infant child those types of medications. Mm -hmm. um, so we kept pushing the doctor and the doctor said, okay, why don't you try a probiotic? And I hadn't read too much about probiotics at the time, but... That's I, pretty forward thinking actually, right? Because yeah. wouldn't they normally say, you know, switch baby formulas or breast milk or something like when they start there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You would think they would start to look at the nutritional paradigm a little bit. And right. we did go through a lot of that and yeah. we got introduced to some, you know, very nice European supplement formulas and very clean formulations. Um, and we, we, we started to put him on some of those things, which helped a little bit. 
but it still didn't solve the issue. Um, and he was kind of, you know, when you see your son in pain, you, you really, you know, you really take it upon yourself to Oh, I know, it's heartbreaking. I mean, there's just the... these little things that can't communicate. Yeah, you know? he was Aww. like ducking in the corner and yeah. hiding. And, and, and then you start to worry too, are they getting enough nutrition? Mm -hmm. Right, especially like at that young. So, so you just put one foot in front of the other, and obviously you have you have a scientific background, so that's helpful, you know, in in, in these conversations, right? Yeah, it kind of came full circle. I have a yeah. background in microbiology and yeah. genomics, and uh, so this was, you know, getting a probiotic from mm -hmm. the store seemed like something I could do yeah. as a dad. Uh, that's something I can um, go and, yeah. and figure out. Um, There's but. so many things to talk to you about because on one hand, it's like the whole the whole mentality um, of being becoming an entrepreneur and, and how do you create this product? How do you go from seeing your son, your baby infant son with a, with a gut issue and, and then all of a sudden having a company? And then there's also yeah. just like the, just the health side, uh, health side of it, right? So, okay, so he, you, you start talking to the doctors and then what was the next step in, well, you know, I can't find what I want on the market, so I'm just gonna create my own. Yeah, I mean, that was the thought process that eventually uh, I kind of got to, but mm -hmm. the first thing that started it was standing in front of that natural food store aisle. You know, you have the refrigerated section of probiotics, and then you have the non-refrigerated section of probiotics. You've got cute babies on the bottles. You've got drops. Just trying to decipher that information from like a more scientific perspective, it wasn't right. making sense. Like, right. why is this bifidobacteria? Infantis strain better than this Anomalis strain, and so did you. Did you go right in and give your son something, or did you do the research first before you decided to supplement? Yeah, my 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 scientist brain kicked in. I yeah. wasn't uh, able to give my son something off the shelf without doing further research, so I pulled a bunch of products off the shelf. Oh I gosh. went to a lab and I started testing the products, seeing if they survived the gastric system, the stomach acid, to get to the intestinal tract. Do mm -hmm. DNA verification, actually identify the organisms. Are they the ones that are actually on the bottle? Because I want to make sure yeah. I give my baby the, the most beneficial strains. Right. And then figure out where are they coming from and find mm -hmm. those manufacturers and who are, who are making the best probiotics, who are making the strains that are really making an impact clinically um, and source those. And then analyze my son's stool uh, and take a look at that. And we ran different tests like a low resolution test like 16S mm -hmm. and then a high resolution for test. For those of you at home, six, I think, can you, what's the layman term for 16S? 16S is kind of like looking at a small region of the information you need to look at. It's like a snapshot, mm -hmm. but only looking at that small region. There's another technology called metagenomics. Metagenomics looks at the entire microbiome genome. So mm -hmm. you get the full oh, well, detail yeah. Um, yeah. and it's kind of, I kind of, so you can liken see, that okay, to yeah. so rabbit ear TV. Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, it was eye opening. It was like the most uh, incredible data I had ever looked at as a scientist. I saw hundreds, if not almost a thousand unique organisms yeah. in my son's microbiome. And there and were. That certain... motivated you just to say, oh my gosh, we have to give him more of this or create something new or how did how did that all happen well one stood out one organism okay. was this inflammatory yeah. microbe so we're now no longer in this mutualistic commensal good for you gut microbiome we're now in this parasitic causing inflammation not good for you microbiome oh and so that's where I wanted to take some action where can we all sign up <laughs> right <laughs> I mean it just makes you want to Check your 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 own health and and see where the where the causes and the pains are. But before we go down that path, so yeah. so did you you finally you came to a, a a good conclusion for your son and through through the the, the products you were finding or yeah. So we uh, sourced all these probiotic mm -hmm. strains that would outcompete okay. some of the bad organisms of the gut, um, kind of quench all the nutrients so the bad organisms don't have anything to feed on. Okay. And I retested his stool and it dropped the inflammatory microbe. Now, this is an end of one story, right? And yeah. as you were talking about, like, how do you actually make this a business? This, yeah. is, this was just the solution for my son. And it took maybe $30,000 and eight months of my life to oh my try goodness. to kind of figure out. Yeah. But, but today you can do that for $79 a month on the website and you can sign up and it turns around in two weeks. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, we scaled the whole operation out. Every formula is unique based off of the gut microbiome. And there are amazing testimonials on Trustpilot and Google reviews um, to really show how this product is working. That is amazing. I mean, because obviously you say, oh my God, this I'm helping my son. How many other people can I help? And then boom, you know, I, another idea, another idea. You. Um, are listening to uh, Sonny Jane. He is the CEO and founder of Sun Genomics. Um, you're watching The Hunt. We're going to be back in a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. We have a lot more to, to talk about with you. Such um, just interesting stuff, and I think the audience is going to uh, love the next set of topics here. Be back in a minute.